on the on the thing. Oh, look right there. Oh, ripped. That's Hillary yeah. Duff and her husband Mike Conrad, baby <laughs> Luca, who is almost nine months old right now. How cute is Mike? You know what she just said on that stocking stuffer segment you guys just did before. Billy, your body, you're so ripped. That's, that's, that's not ripped. my body. I think we need to. Oh no, it's not. No, no. it's one of those photos. Still feel Billy, really we Billy. had viewers writing in. We went with it. We just say yes. Look that's at him. that vibe. That's impossible Billy, to maintain. Uh, you don't want that it. guy. That guy's too into himself. That's true. I have to say, Louis, I do not actually want that body type. I like a guy that's not worried so much. I'm, You're married to an athlete. I'm, don't you I'm, like I'm him agree. big, but kind of not He's so stressed sturdy. about it? Sturdy. He's sturdy. Sturdy is a fantastic <laughs> word. I don't yeah. know if there's a little, uh, is that an entire comp? Is that like 100% compliment or maybe 95% compliment? No, I think sturdy, that's your man. He's sturdy yeah. and strong. I think it's a like, good thing. I like you know what I love about you? You're stalwart. You're <laughs> stalwart. Just, What's the stalwart? I don't know. It's Somebody called words. me, uh, who was it? Called me jovial back in my bigger days. <laughs> jovial. Here, this. I'm you, not sure I even know what that means. This is for you. I got another one for you. You did? That is I so Because I saw kind. you admiring this red Solo cup. I was. Lizzie. I was. I think this is amazing. And Take I'm that out with a, the moms. They'll love it. I'm going to a white elephant party. Is it rude to, to re-gift No, that? I love a re-gift. I feel like it might be the most popular thing in the party. You're going to re-gift that? Yes. I don't know. And you have Should to report I, back to us where it myself? goes in the white elephant party. No, no. That's a good I one. I feel like this is the perfect gift. I'm sorry, what is a white elephant party? So everybody gives a gift, but then you can to. steal it. You wrap it, and then you pass around. You get to choose a number, right? Oh, so everybody brings a gift, and then you can leave with whatever one you... But it's a funny gift, you... like this. Perfect. But you steal it back and forth. Then there's usually one good gift, and there's five, you know, it kind of gets a little tense. This uh, is pretty good, though. I mean, my husband might, might fight me for this. Yeah, the fellas like this. You're, now, <laughs> listen, you're, uh, you're back to drinking, which is good. You've got the... <laughs> yeah, <you're>, I am. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels to the wonderful. Cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Luca is nine months old. Can we see? Uh, let's put some photos up of Luca. Oh, you... What a great age. What's he doing right now at nine months? Oh my gosh. He's into everything. I'm like running around the house just trying to keep up with him. He's so fast. He loves the Christmas tree, obviously. So we have a funny looking Christmas tree. All the or ornaments are at the top. <laughs> um, I don't know. He's just busy. He's like trying to talk. And right, how much fun do you have dressing him? Funny. I'm looking him there. I mean, it is so much fun to dress him. He's a little oh. guy. The jeans are just too much. Like and the little shoes. How about that? <laughs> there's diapers now that have like Santa's uh, whole like outfit printed on the bottom with like the big gold belt buckle. They are hilarious. Yeah, I'm loving it. There we are. Match and match patch. Dad shoes. You I know mean, what the sad part is? I think my feet look really bad, big in that photo, but those are my those feet. Those are yours? I thought it was your husband's. <laughs> That's not your husband. Those are your feet? Those are my feet, but I'm a six and a half. It's not like I have gigantic feet. Yeah, what's he like in nine months? I mean, you know, it's all, everything's relative. <laughs> we're like, Mike's look at Mike. You should have gone like, with it. Mm, those are actually my feet. So, holiday, what are the traditions for Christmas morning? Then? Um, you know, we always drive down to Newport, which is where Mike's family is, and it's like nine kids going crazy it's basically like wrapping paper just flying in the air and toys everywhere and mayhem so um, we're really looking forward to that and we get to first. bring a baby this year so it's really exciting do you have people to help you can you be like oh my gosh and hand them i mean you just get some extra hands in there <laughs> um what do you mean? No, because the baby. I just passed the, the baby. You can move you around. You don't do it with break. the first, usually. The first no, is like... No, he never gets set down. Tight? Are you yeah. kidding? Mm. Kind of. And then by the third, you're like, hey, can somebody grab that little kid in the back? Yeah, like, where'd he go? <laughs> He's <laughs> over there. Now, you've also got... Your first child is really your dog, right? Dubois? Yes. Okay, so yes. this is an interesting book. A book called A Letter to My Dog, Notes to Our Best Friends, put together by three kind of besties, three buddies, uh, one of them being a kind of runs the own Oprah. network with Oprah, one of her mm -hmm. co-executive producers from the show I back in the day. I think this is such a great idea. It's a beautiful book, and Oprah's I just love the concept. Um, a letter to your dog. I mean, your dogs are, are everything to you. You know, what is a household without a dog, I think? Yeah. Um, I, your dog is really cute. I mean, he's wow. so, he looks like Wile E. Coyote in that photo. I you just say he's a do-man, half dog, half human. Yes, we call him a do-man, because he's a dog human. He just knows. Do you think he can understand what you're saying? hundred percent. I totally 100%. think that they understand you, and I think that's what makes the connection so strong. Fran Drescher's dog right there. So how was it for you when you brought Luca home with your dogs? Because that's usually, they had to take a second to sort of think, okay, there's a new person in the house. Yeah. Um, it was, it was fine, actually. We kicked the dogs out of the bed like a month before Luca came, so they didn't blame the baby for why they couldn't sleep in the bed anymore. And we gave him like a blanket to smell that Luca's smell had been on in the hospital. That's smart. And yeah, and it worked. Mike brought Luca in. I came, gave the blanket to the dogs, and loved on him and said hi. And they were they've been fine with him. So 
How much time? Happy now, how much time are you going to take before the next child, or is one? Are we one and done? <laughs> I already asked him before we went on. I'm loving it. Such a good question. Yeah. Mike and I are literally so obsessed with Luca. We're like, he's perfect. Wait, we should just be one and done. But I think, you know, I think once the kids, your babies start getting older, you miss that baby phase and you go in for round two. But I think maybe when he's two, three. Yeah. Go and to you, a just, you just tweeted right out now. your skinny jeans you're in. So I know. Enjoy that well, for a little while. I'm like, oh, what? You fight to get back in shape and then you have the other baby. Yeah, enjoy it for a while and take that red solo cup out. Yes. And Enjoy the Go white ahead. party. Was it white elephant? <laughs> a white elephant. Yeah, take all the gifts. Hillary, happy holidays. Thank He's you so, so cute. Much. Bring him next time. You have to. Promise. I will. I will. A letter to my dog. Notes to our best friends is in stores right now.